y'all, welcome to my channel. Today, we are doing an unboxing from net a from Saint Laurent. If you're new to my channel, my name is Candace. I do luxury fashion and designer beauty videos. If you're not new, thanks for tuning in once again, and welcome back. Nice. And also, continue to stay subscribed. If you are new, hopefully stick around and subscribe and see what all we do over here on the Lux and Lipstick channel. So as I mentioned today, we have a Saint Laurent unboxing, the new bag. Slowly but surely, Saint Laurent is starting to be one of my favorite bag brands. First I thought, I don't know, honestly it's hard to tell who my favorite is because I have I have a lot of Louis, I have a lot of Fendi, I have a lot of Bottega, but most of my Bottega stuff is shoes. Slowly why is it starting to be one of my favorites? Let me tell you why quickly. Their stuff is more affordable. Okay, it's still expensive, but it's more affordable as far as compared to other luxury brands and they're more attainable basically. And not only that, the quality is outstanding for all the bags I have from them. And I have three, this is number four, but I have three, also have one card holder, two card holder. And quality for all of them, although different materials are different, different colors, different styles. They're all basically universal, versatile. Universal as far as, you know, quality all the way across the brand, which is very impressive and things that I look for. Also a great thing about the brand is that they go on sale. They have sales, which we all love, right? I mean, who doesn't love a sale? So let's dive right into what I got. I did get this bag from Net porte because the Saint Laurent website had this bag out of stock. And y'all know, I don't just wait. Boy. That escalated quickly. Only person I wait on is Jesus. And I was not about to wait if I had other options. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? If I didn't have other options, I would have had to wait. But I just wait on Jesus, okay? So it came in a dust bag as they normally do. I don't have the box anymore, threw it away. But here it is. You already know what it looks like. So no need in dragging this out any further. I got the small Lulu Cool Tip shoulder bag. And I got it in this. I don't know what color this is. I will have it on screen. It's gorgeous. I did sell my Givenchy Mini Antigona bag and white. I semi regret it. I regret it because I love the bag. I am going to get the bag again in a different color, but I just regret it. I mean, I, I don't regret selling it because it was white and it showed up dirt like nobody's business. Now, to be fair, I didn't babysit, you know, I didn't babysit it at all. I wore it a lot back to back to back to back to back and it took a toll on the back. This one I plan on taking much better care of. I did regret not having a lighter color bag in my collection other than the Louis, Louis Vuitton Corset in Demir Azur. I forgot. <laughs> Anyway, I'm very happy to have this bag in my repertoire. I love this silver hardware. It does have silver hardware on it and it feels so plush and things. Now, I also bought an insert for it. I refuse to wear it. I've gotten to the point where I will not wear my bags unless my insert is in and ready to use in the bag. I did get an insert. It does have a snap closure, by the way, if you heard that. Pretty tight. And of course you can wear it crossbody, long length shoulder bag, or you can wear it shoulder bag double length. And I got pop of color for my bag insert. I have a link to where I got it down below in the description bar. But actually it's two different inserts because let me just take this out so you can see what the actual bag looks like in case you don't want an insert. So I have two inserts. They look the exact same. I have this one. It has three interior pockets. It has one bigger one and two smaller ones there. And then the exact same on the other one. So I have two. And the reason I have two is because the inside of this purse has two interior compartments. There's one at the back there and then one at the front. The front one's a, it the front one is slightly wider. Also there's a zippered compartment in the middle. You probably cannot see in there, but you know how deep it is. Also, inside of the actual bag, there is also an interior pocket along the back, as there usually is. See that? And that's it for the inter interior storage. It is a pretty soft fabric and inside, so it should be easy to clean. It's not like, you know, cotton or anything like that. I actually don't know what the material is called. That's why I'm not telling you. So I have no idea what it's called, but I'm sure you can find it on the site, usually in, in the item description and things like that. It tells you everything you need to know about the material, fabric, and so forth. It's a really nice bag. I've been wanting a Lulu for the longest and I finally caved and got it. Let me be completely upfront with you guys. I do have wish Lists. There are some things that stay on my wish list forever because I can't justify price. There are other things that stay on my wish list for maybe a day or two, and I'm just like, okay, screw it. Uh, I'm gonna get it. And that's what happened with this. I just went ahead and got it. I just wanted it. Also, on the handle, on both handles actually, it says Saint Laurent Paris on there. Yes, there's also a Saint Laurent Paris in silver 
writing in the interior there. The back doesn't have a pocket if you wanted to know about that. All your pockets are in here for your pocket. Yeah, two pockets, a zippered pocket and then the side pocket that I showed you. I really wanted a bag with silver hardware too because I think all the bags I own are gold hardware. So I just wanted something a little more casual. This definitely gives me casual vibes. I do, however, have a plan for this one so it doesn't stain. I can wear dark denim with it and it'll be okay. This is some suede and nubuck protector. It's a water and stain repellent. I saw this on the purse blog forum or purse forum and it was highly recommended to protect your lighter bags from staining and brain damage and such. It comes in a bottle like this. It's Synovia. It's the brand. S-Y-N-O-V-I-A. That's the brand. And I got it from Nordstrom. It was 11 bucks. I actually got three cans of this so I can have it on hand because from what I read, correct me if I'm wrong, let me know if you've used anything like this. I think if it gets rained on after you've sprayed it on here, you'll have to repeat the process. I don't know if that's true. It is a water and stain repellent though, so I'm excited to see how this works. I might actually, uh, I don't have any to hang in it, I kind of do. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Oh no, can't hang it there. I thought it came out and I don't know, bad idea right now. But I'm gonna spray this right after the video and keep you posted on how this works in the future and if it protects anything, if it's just a bunch of crap. I don't think that because a lot of people recommended this to me. So yeah, this is the bag, it's really nice. Do y'all want a what fits? Let's see what fits. I mean, honestly, it fits all time, you know. I have a card holder here. This is just a random Saint Laurent one. I, you know, it's very roomy inside. Like, look, that barely takes up any space. I mean, obviously, it fits your phone in there. I just have a 10 Pro Max. Y'all know that. 11 Pro Max. Gonna put that in here. Normally, uh, like I always say, I don't put my phone in my purse. But because it fits, why not? So that's where we are now. So we have room for, let's just say this is a six key. This is like a necklace, sort of. Yeah, it's a necklace that you can put in like cards and, and things like that. It's a random accessory that can fit in there. Let's just say this is a six key because I don't have that in here right now. Look at that now. Still room on this side a little bit. You can put a lip product in there. You can put AirPods. You can put a full size wallet even if you wanted to. Hand sanitizer, hand wipes. The list goes on. You can store a lot, okay? So I don't have many more necessities than this. These are all of my necessities that I would carry in a purse. You know, lip product, card holder. Sometimes I'll carry a six key if it fits. If not, I don't worry about it because I can get in my house without a key. Phone, I don't put that in here. Hand wipes can fit wherever I want to put it, whatever bag I want to put it in. So I really like this. I'm gonna put this back <laughs> because I plan on spraying this back. Uh-oh, Grubhub texted me. I ordered food. Okay, got it. Also, if you want to know price, let's get into that. Cause it, this was not on sale. Also, I should tell you Saint Laurent is one of those brands that do go on sale. Like for Black Friday, they had a lot of bags on sale, but I got it right before Black Friday. So I kind of defeated the purpose of it. Not right before, I got it in October. I guess it is right before. It was 21.10, 21.11 basically. And also if I haven't told you in the past, or if you haven't heard, if you see a bag that you want on an overseas website, not a porte 24S, Selfridges, Mother Mother Teresa, <laughs> My Teresa, sites like that. You can save some coins because they're cheaper overseas. Think about when you travel, you buy a bag in Europe, it's much cheaper than to buy it in the States. So think that same mentality when you buy bags from overseas online, you save a couple hundred bucks. So in a sense, I'm really glad that it was sold out on the Saint Laurent website. It's like my sign to go somewhere else to find it cheaper. Although it's just a couple hundred bucks. That's a couple hundred bucks you could put on something else. Even if it was $10, I would probably do it. And and also the shipping is super fast too from net -a It literally takes a couple of days with express shipping. And I think the express shipping was free. If not, I have like shop runner or something like that that gets it to me faster. But I'm gonna spray this as soon as possible because I don't want it to stain. I really like the color. I like the off-white ivory look to it. I do plan on getting a true white bag. I do believe I want Chanel classic flat or like a Chanel 19 or something. I don't know yet. If you have any recommendations, leave them below for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video or bag review. Review. review yeah <laughs> rate the video subscribe to my channel turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any future videos any future lux videos talk to you soon thank you for watching